Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris, and here behind me, I'm gonna have a 2023 Honda CRV Hybrid Sport Touring. Let's get going. Hey guys, so here we are right outside the 2023 Honda CRV. This is gonna be the Sport Touring Hybrid right here. I'm gonna walk around this vehicle, show you guys all the cool standard features and functions to save you time before you arrive at your local Honda dealership to take it out for a test drive. If you guys have any questions at all, I'll do my best to assist you guys. Just drop them down below in the comments. I'll come across those and answer those out from that point. Then also, if you guys found this video helpful, I do put a lot of time into this, just like my other videos, my walk around videos, my tips and tricks, my vehicle settings to help you set you up for success before you drive off the lot. Consider hitting the like button, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos. I keep these coming out for you guys, all right? Now, I'm pretty excited about this vehicle, so let's kind of dive right in and show you guys all the cool standard features and functions for this awesome new hybrid redesigned for this year with many new features. Let's get going. All right, so here we are right outside the 2023 Honda CRV Sport Touring Hybrid. As usual, guys, let's walk up right here to the Moroni sticker. You're welcome to pause the video right there if you want to explore on your own. Now, up on the top right hand corner, it talks about your fuel economy. You can see you get a city for 40, 34 for the highway with a combined of 37. Down on the right hand corner, it's going to talk about your safety ratings. There, right now, it's not rated on this particular one at the moment. Right here is where the vehicle is made at. The price point, this one is a particular demo. So it's the first one I ever had here at the dealership at Randy Kill Honda. I'm pretty excited to show you guys more about this vehicle. But let's talk about the standard features and functions. Right over here is the list for you guys, all right? Take a moment, take a look at that stuff. We're gonna try to cover all that today within this video and show you where that's all at. Now, this is gonna be a radiant red metallic with a black interior. This is a plus charge for this particular color. I'm gonna throw some additional color options up there. Then also there's gonna be a surplus charge from Honda for that particular color, all right? All right, now as you guys are done looking at that, we're gonna have come stand with two key fobs and remote start. Simply hit lock twice here. Hold this button down here for a few seconds. You will see the light's gonna flash here. Now it's gonna start right up. It's gonna heat and cool your vehicle. It runs in 10 minute volts right there, okay? So that's pretty nice. Now you can simply turn that off by holding that button down again, and then boom, everything's off from that point. Now all of your Honda sensing features are standard. I'm talking about your lane keep assist, adaptive cruise, your forward collision, road departure. You're also gonna have traffic jam assist too as well. So that's gonna be nice. A couple cool little things to mention too as well is like your rear seat reminder and the traffic sign recognition system. So that's pretty cool, all right? Now you have a one, sorry, you're gonna have a two liter in here, non-turbo, four cylinder, with the hybrid system right in there. I'm gonna throw horsepower and torque up there so you guys know. Once again, that's a two liter, all right, while the conventional ones has a 1.5. So two liter right in there for you guys. Now as we kind of get here towards the front of the vehicle, you're gonna have parking sensors right down here. There's one, two, three, and four. So you got four of these bad boys right up front. So you got front and rear parking sensors, LED lights all the way around. As I hit the lock button, you can see a turn indicator right up here too as well with that LED lights. I like how they kind of just squished them out, spread them down, so it looks pretty nice. You have a nice black finish eyebrow going on with a little bit of silver trim going down up here in the front, all right? Now you're gonna have rain sensing wipers right up here. So if you had an auto, auto rain sensing wipers is gonna sense the rain. I'm actually comes right on for you guys. And you can shut those off, it's pretty nice and easy. Check out my other video on how to do that from there. We get over here towards the side, you can see these nice black finish, 19 inch alloy rims. We're gonna step back a little more here for you guys. There we go, a little side profile of the vehicle. I'm gonna throw some exterior measurements up there so you guys know what we're playing around with. Is there gonna be enough room in your garage? How does it compare to your guys' current vehicle? Stuff like that, okay? Now, as you can see, we got body colored handles. We've got chrome action around the windows, rear tinted windows. They're gonna be black finished side mirrors. And then you got roof rails up top. They're gonna be a nice black finish. Looks really nice with the red and the black kind of together. I can't wait to see other color options on this package here too as well. Now with these side mirrors, it's gonna be a breakaway side mirrors. So it's gonna be super easy if you gotta fold these in. Just get out here and push them just like that. Really nice and easy, okay? All right, so we're gonna have smart entry system. So let's say the car's all locked up. Put your hand in the handle. Well, if you have the key fob with you, it unlocks too as well. And then you also can lock it up without taking a key out of your pocket by hitting this. Now everything's locked, or you just can enable your walkaway auto lock feature. So long, if you walk away with the key fob, you get so far away, boom, all the doors automatically lock, okay? 
Now with your smart entry system, when I put your hand in the handle, you can choose between driver's side door or all doors to unlock. So a lot of cool stuff you can do on that. I'm gonna have a vehicle settings video to show you how to set all that up. Now you cannot accidentally, whoops, lock your keys in the car. That is not a thing that's in the past now. All right, only way you can do that if you take a second key fob, all right? I have my second key fob, the white left her purse in there with the key, and I hit the lock button and it's registering. I'm purposely locking the key in the car. That's the only way you can do that, okay? From there. Check out the top here quick. We've got a power moonroof. Check out those roof rails. Body colored shark fin antenna for your radio. Right down here, capless gas tank. So when the car's unlocked, you push that door right in, pops right open. No longer a $2 cap to argue, debate with. It's a simple slide and go. Now, when you shut this, you hit the lock button. That's all locked up, all right? All locked up. Now, we're gonna step here towards the back of the vehicle. LED taillights, just makes a bold steam as you apply onto the brakes from there. You got these chrome-tipped exhausts right over here kind of going on. Body color parking sensors. Once again, you got four of those bad boys back here. Multi-angle rear camera, all-wheel drive, all right here for you guys. And it's gonna have a power lift gate too. So you can use the power lift gate right here on the clicker or on the door, or you can use a hands-free power lift gate from right here too as well. Do a little kick motion right underneath the bumper. It opens from that point. You can do the same way to close it too, okay? Now here's the cargo space. I'm gonna throw some cargo volume space right up there so you guys know what you're playing around with, all right? All right, we'll get right in here too as well. So you got a little hook area right here, 12 volt plug-in, LED light. You have a spot right here where you can add a privacy shade if you want to buy one of those, you can. Another light, then another hook from right over here, okay? You're gonna have some tie-down anchors, one right there, there, and there, and of course, right over here for you, okay? So then, you're going to have your tire patch kit right over here with your emergency fuel funnel. If you ever need one for any particular reason, you're set from there. And then just snaps right back in place just like that, okay? All right, to bring these seats down, let me show what it looks like with them down. Boom, there we are. Seats are down now, all right? So when you get down in here, carpet mats come standard, by the way. Let's move those two off to the side. You do have a little bit of hump that's pretty darn easy to manage, though, because when you get over here, right? It's a nice flat area once you get up there, okay? So pretty nice and easy to manage. Now the reason for that is because these seats recline back so far now. Whoever's back there, oh, they got so much recline mode going on so they can take a nap pretty darn easy, okay? So pretty good from that point. It's gonna be a 60-40 split seat, as you guys can see from there. So you know what? Let's fold these seats right back up again. There we go, seats are back up now. Now, when we're talking about the power lift gate here quick, you can also adjust the height of this power tailgate. All you have to do is find the position you want it at, then you click and hold it as it says right there. Wait for the double beep, there we go. Now it's gonna open and close to that setting every single time, okay? So pretty nice. Now as we're looking at right up here too as well, you guys already know about the backup camera. You're gonna have some buns right here to open and close this. Then you got this little button right here too as well. This is gonna be a quick little lock button. So for example, let's say, Everyone got their supplies, the kids are out of the car, stuff like that. And then I'm the last one to grab the stuff. Instead of hitting the, getting my key fob out, hitting the lock on the button, when all the doors are shut, I'm just gonna hit this button right here and it locks all the doors, including the tailgate too as well. So that makes it pretty nice. All right, let's close out right there. So you got your badge of honor, you got your sport touring over here, CRV hybrid. There's more of your badge of honors going on. Then you got your all wheel drive right there for you guys, all right? We're gonna step here towards the back seats now. As we get the door open here, let's take a moment to look at that here. You got a nice little trim work going on here. Leather armrest, you got the orange stitching. You'll see that continue throughout the vehicle there. You guys know about power windows, some additional cubby space down below from there. And then you get your CRV badging right there too as well. All right, a lot of as well is going on as we're talking about that. Let's look in here. So leather interior, orange stitching again right here. Let's get out of nap mode, bring that up a little bit. You got some additional cup holders. Third seatbelt's already plugged in. You can take that out, comes right up there if you ever need it. All right, so car seats, look at that. They're nice and easy exposed. You can get in there, you can lock things in for the car seats. This is what the all season mats gonna look like. If you guys choose to buy those from Honda, the all season mats, you can have some adjustable vents 
right here. USBs, you got a USB-Cs it looks like right down below. And then you're gonna have a courtesy pocket, LED light right up here. Hey, that's the back right there, guys. All right, let's jump here towards the front of the vehicle now. All right, so let's open this right up here. Let's check out the front door here quick again, all right? So you have a nice leather armrest, orange stitching again, tr black trim work going on right here to your two seat memory, okay? Then you guys know about power windows. You got your power locks, you got your mirror selectors between left and right, the D-pad to adjust accordingly, then your window lock button just in case any young whippersnappers in the back are playing with the windows. They can lock those kids out. Or, you know, your friends do as well. Adults, we like to misbehave occasionally. So anyways, down here below, you got a little courtesy pocket for more storage, and then you get your little double in the details on a CRV down here below, okay? Now, we're gonna have your blind spot information system with this. So as we get over here to the side mirror, you can see a little indicator right up there if we can get it to focus there it is so when a vehicle is in your blind spot that's going to light up then only time it talks back to you if you have the setting on so when you have your blinker on while someone's in your blind spot then it's going to beep at you to alert you to as well from there all right i have a video that shows you how to customize that and how it works in action too as well all right so now we got done talking about the door let's go over to the seat settings here all right we got your forward you got your back you got you up you down you got a little tilt action going on here on the front half tilt up tilt down you get reclined then you get your lumbar right here you're gonna have power seating on the passenger side for forward back and recline right over the passenger okay now you got your pedals to stop and go get you to traffic you got your hood release right here let's pull this bad boy and show you some common courtesy stuff now all right, so here we are right underneath the hood on this vehicle here for you guys. Let's point out some common courtesy and help you guys put eyes underneath it, all right? So you have your washer fluids, a nice blue cap. You can see that there, bright, all right? Coolant here, and then you have a coolant right over there too as well between those two caps, between the two different systems. And then you're gonna have your dipstick right there, oil cap, brake fluids right up there. And we're gonna come right over here to the battery connection for your car battery, all right? So yeah, any more of those Vans questions for you guys, feel free to contact your local Honda dealership, talk to the service center, those technicians, or know this car inside and out, they'd be glad to answer those questions for you guys. Now let's jump right up front to show you all the cool stuff in the driver's seat. All right, so here we are right inside the Honda CRV. Just make sure you have the key fob with you. It can be in your purse, your jacket, your pocket, whatever. Just make sure it's in the car. Put your foot down on the brake, hit the start button, then watch everything light up from this point, all right? I'm just gonna sit right there for the moment. Now, as everything's loading up here quick, let's talk about some stuff here on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, okay? So you have your power lift gate right here. You can't just tap, you have to click and hold that bad boy, so it'll actually open and close. Then you have your vehicle stability assist right there if you wanna shine that off. Once again, you have to click and hold it for turn it on and off. Right now it's on. Then you're gonna have a little adjustable right here for your vent, and then a nice little soft tone right here so you can close it, open it, a lot of cool stuff from there. Now your steering wheel release is gonna be here on the left-hand side, pull that down. It's gonna be a telescope, so it goes in, out, up, and down, uh, just as you guys see fit. Let's lock it right back in place, all right? Now we're gonna talk about the steering wheel here quick. You have a nice leather, orange stitching, once again, all the way around here. All right, little horn, pretty nice. Heated steering wheel buttons right down here below. You can see it's on. Now it's off by the light right here. Now all of your Honda sensing features are gonna be on the right hand side. Let's get some air going on in here. All right, so all of your Honda sensing is gonna be right over here. All right, so you're gonna have your cruise control. You can see what's available by this button right here. It will display on your driver's interface right there. So we have your adaptive cruise control. We can see that because you get the speedometer with the car in front of it from there. Now, as I click and hold the button down, you can see now it's gonna be standard cruise from that point. So now you see the difference between adaptive cruise and your standard cruise, all right? The button I'm selecting is this one right there. Click and hold it. Now we're back there. Now with your cruise control, you can hit the set button. It's just push this down, you set, then you can adjust the speeds from that point. Now with your adapted cruise, it's gonna be this button as you just tap it. We're selecting the distance between you and the car in front of you. All right, so more lines means you're gonna be further away. Less lines means you're gonna be super close from that point, closer, all right? Now with the adaptive cruise control, when it's on, when it's enabled, when it's working, it will maintain the distance between you and the car in front of you guys, okay? So let's say, for example, you're going 35 miles an hour, it finds a car in front of you that's going 30, it slows you down, maintain that distance. Once they get out of the way, you can resume back to your cruise control speed, all right? 
So there it is. Now you know how to turn adaptive cruise control on and off. What's the difference on that? Let's talk about your lane keep assist. All right, this is gonna be mostly for your highway driving now. With your lane keep assist, when you go between 45 and 90 miles an hour, it keeps you in the center of your lane. You won't be playing ping pong. It actually is pretty nice. Keeps you nice in the center of your lane right there. So you can see from there, it will display lines up here where it's actively working. So when you guys get out there for a test drive, make sure you play around with that and just kind of get a nice little visual, okay? Because you're also gonna get your traffic jam assist too as well that works on lower, lower speeds from that point, all right? So there it is, all of your Honda Sensor features over here in a nutshell, we'll come right over here to your more options there. You got your volume, you got your music options, you got this little wheel. We're gonna talk more about that here in a second, about your driver's interface, voice command, hey, call crazy on Chris, use your Siri, use your navigation, a lot of cool stuff with this is button versus click tap once or click and hold from there okay now you get your decelerator pedals right here all right so you can increase and decrease your engine brake regeneration from right here on the drag on your vehicle as it's stopping okay now we're going to talk about your wipers you can see you have an auto button right here for your wipers when you get down to a certain point that's your rain sensing wipers right there so now if it rains it automatically comes right on for your wipers we don't want that put it right back up to off and there we go they're on they're off all right so you got a couple different speeds here you got your rear wipers right there so there we go just one minute then you got your led lights on auto brights have it off whatever the case is from that point there we go then you're turning indicators too all right so now we're done playing around with the steering wheel here quick Let's talk about the driver's interface. So as we zoom in right there for you guys, now as we're gonna do that, just lean on, playing around with this wheel right here, scrolling up, down, and pushing it in to select items too, okay? So we're gonna take a moment, we're gonna let you guys look at the stuff here on the left-hand side of the steering wheel on what's going on on, that, on the driver's interface. So we got your phone, you got navigation, navigation is gonna be just a compass, driver's attention monitoring system so the car knows when you're doing a really good job a really bad job at driving is encouraging to pull over take a break so that's kind of nice they're all will drive what power is going where seat belts who's sitting where not you putting the seat belt on guilty as you guys can see right here at the moment not me maintenance any maintenance reminders recommendations are going to be right there safety stuff all right, so if you want to turn off your road departure, this is it right here. Your blind spot, your forward collision, parking sensors. All right, this is the load, uh, sorry, low speed braking control. This is gonna be great when you're backing up, you know, next to a wall or a vehicle. All right, so that's gonna be pretty nice to have. It's gonna stop you, warn you, if you're gonna hit something. Then you got your forward uh, collision right there. And there we go. So low speed braking is the first time right here in the Honda CRV. So pretty darn awesome for safety. Now we got your brightness. You can just choose what kind of stuff you want up here. If you think you have too much stuff going on, you can minimize it. Keep it all there. Power flow. Now I can see uh, as you're driving what's charging what or what's driving what. Is the engine driving the car? Is a hybrid battery driving the car? Is the engine charging the uh, battery? Or is the braking charging the battery? Stuff like that, all right? Fuel range. So right now on a full tank of gas, is all computerized, is always gonna be different based on your guys' driving habits and the average, so keep that in mind. So with only seven miles on this bad boy, it's telling us 402 miles with the current tank right now, okay? speed and time there we go so that's everything right over there in the driver's interface within that menu that we're kind of talking about so right here you can see this green needle as you're driving the white needle as you're driving it's gonna fluctuate so every time you're braking you see actually how much braking regeneration you're doing because it's gonna go down towards the charge in the green area versus up to as well all right so that's kind of a nice little cool thing there you have a green bar up there when you're being fuel efficient. Right now it looks like it's running off the battery. So we're being fuel efficient. And when you're not being fuel efficient as you're driving or just idling, it goes away, okay? You have a digital speedometer. You got your analog one right here. You got your 
Traffic sign recognition system right there. Last speed limit sign it found. It was 40 miles an hour. 52 degrees, 7 miles. Here's your tank right down there. We're in park. All right. Now, temperature gauge is just going to display up there with a the light. If it's too cold, if it's too hot, that kind of stuff, a light will come on. Just try to clean this up a little bit for you guys. All right. All right, so now we're done talking about the driver's interface, kind of show a little bit of the layout there for you guys. Let's come right over here to this nine inch touchscreen, okay? So here we are, we got a lot of buns, very colorful, pretty nice. You got this little hand, you know, little rest here as you kind of poke things around as you're driving down the road. Let's show you a couple things here quick. Time right up here, you got your home bun, back bun, audio. You have a Bose sound system. We're gonna play with that here in a second. All right, so that's gonna be pretty nice. Then you got these nice little quick point buttons here too as well you can adjust the brightness of this touch screen by selecting that you can turn it completely off if it bugs you for your day or nighttime driving or you can just whoop so pretty nice you got your shortcuts there too as well the car is going to learn from your habits kind of recommend things from there then you got your bluetooth audio then you got fm quick point phone and navigation as we select that it pops right up okay so pretty cool it's gonna be a garmin navigation same thing as you select this right there for you guys if you had a honda crv with navi it is the same thing all right so now we got your phone you can put up multiple phones you got radio options right over here bluetooth smartphone connection your apple carplay and android auto it's gonna be wireless don't worry about plugging in playing it's a simple wireless right there for you guys <clears throat> Excuse me. Now you got your power flow button right here. All right. So you can see right now with the battery tank size, how much battery we have for the hybrid battery system there. They will show you your fuel economy. You're getting a lot of time fuel economy at that time. Your range, a lot of cool stuff. Then you see a little graph as you're driving down the road, what's driving what, what's charging what, all kinds of good information there. So it's kind of nice to just kind of watch and see what's going on. All right. Home button. We're going to scroll back here off to the side. General settings. You can do some customizations. Excuse me. You can customize some things in there. You got your vehicle settings too as well. You can customize all of your vehicle settings set the way you want it between your Honda sensing when the lights come on, stuff like that. I'm gonna have a video that goes more in depth about that. You have a Wi-Fi hotspot trip. It's a lot of cool stuff going on here, guys. I know there's a lot to cover in here. Honda Link, check out hondalink.com to see what your trim level is capable of with Honda Link and what the monthly fee of that would be from there, okay? So let's talk a little about the radio options here. Come play around with it. Audio source, there we go. So you have FM, AM, satellite radio. You get three months of that for free. After that, you have to contact them to continue that paid subscription. The USB Bluetooth and smartphone connection. All right, you pretty much have everything but a CD player. But hey, download your you know books and you know books on tape, whatever you guys got going on, and it's a plug and play from there. So yeah, less clutter. Okay. So now that's everything there about the touchscreen. Pretty quick for you guys. We're gonna back out and check out this dashboard here. Look at that, you got this little honeycomb, you got your vent right there, hazard lights if you ever need them, it's just floating right there. Nice little texture going on. Another vent, comes all the way down to another vent. Passenger, you can mess around with that. Bose sound system. There we are. All right, so now let's talk about the center controls here. Quick, you have heated seats. It's going to be a low, medium, and high, as you can see. So it's high, medium, and low. Boom, there we go. Now we have your climate controls. It's going to be a dual climate control system. So the passenger can mess with theirs if they want to, and I can mess with mine. Let's shut off the sink. There we go. So as I'm messing around with this stuff, it's also going to display it right up here. So when we're driving down the road, I don't have to be looking all the way down. It's there. I can see what they're doing or what I'm doing too. All right. So there's your temperatures. You get your air circulation, different modes. Once again, all that's going to be displaying right up there. Front defroster, front defroster on. Off. It's off. Rear defroster, heated side mirrors. AC, sink, now everything's gonna be the same. 
So that's all of your climate controls right here. Now let's go down even further here. You have a USB, then USB-C plug-in right here, 12 volt plug-in, then a wireless phone charger with this big tray here. All right. Then we're gonna come down here to the shifter. You're gonna have the little orange stitching. Again, like you see already on the seats and stuff like that, you'll see it on the center. But let's get back over to the shifter. We're in park right now. You have reverse, neutral, then you have a drive, then a B mode, okay? The B mode is where you're gonna be using when you go down at long hill, stuff like that, to increase your uh, brake regeneration too as well. So that's what you use that bad boy for. Now, as we put this vehicle into reverse, you can see in reverse, we'll come right up here to the multi-angle rear camera on this big touch screen right here. These buttons down here are gonna show you how the camera's gonna act. You have a 180 view, all right? A right behind you view. I don't know if you guys can hear the car humming right now. So pretty nice because we get the vehicle in reverse, not running on the engine or anything. So it's just emitting a noise to let people know, hey, <laughs> there's a car here. I'm being quiet. So we have a right behind you view, then a straight down shot from your rear bumper view. All right. So now as you turn your wheel a little bit, whoop, there we go. That changes color so you know it's not a line and guides you to as well. This is going to be a cross traffic monitoring system here. So every time you're in reverse, this is right now it's on. Now it's off. So every time you're in reverse, a car is coming from the side. It's going to point out what direction that car is coming from. Then it's going to alert you to as well. I have a video showing you guys that in action. Feel free to check that out. Now, this button here, you can select it if your parking sensors are on. You have a nice little grab to see which parking sensor is going off or what it's not. Just gives you a visual on that point. Okay? There we go. We already know about the starting moon. It just is the brightness. So if you need to adjust that for any particular reason on the fly, on the backup camera, you're set. All right, humming noise is gone. All right, because we're back in park now. The vehicle's not in motion. It's not on the hybrid system right now. Now you have a couple different modes here. So as we select that, you can see it right up here on the driver's interface. We're in sport mode. All right, so you get the little set of a green bar. You get a red bar right up there. It's going to change how the car are. It's going to perform, increase the acceleration, stuff like that. You have a normal. Econ. Econ's great for that highway fuel economy okay so you may see anywhere from two to four more miles to the gallon depending on how aggressive you're driving and what kind of train you're driving on okay so what it's going to be doing it's going to be sacrificing acceleration power ac power a little bit of electrical power to focus on that fuel efficiency gain for your highway um where it's most effective it just won't be that effective with your city because of the stop and go traffic as you scroll down again you get your snow mode first time ever for the crv snow mode is going to change how the car is going to perform to optimize your handling in the snow environment so that's pretty nice right there now as you see when i have all this stuff selected it's going to have a constant reminder hey you're in snow mode hey we're in econ mode get a little green leaf normal sport all right so if you shut it off in that it's most likely going to stay in that mode all right just double check it now after that, right down here, you're going to have your hill descent. As you select this bad boy, it's on. There we go. So you have your hill descent control right there for you guys, if you ever want that. Then we got the electrical parking brake. Simply pull it right up. You got a little red light right up here. Yep, we're in brake. Now, to shut that off, you can't just push it in. You have to put your foot down on the brake pedal, push it in, and there you go, release. The hold brake from that point. Now, down over here, we're going to have some cup holders. A little tray now we're on to the armrest orange stitching we're gonna share this pops right open into a place to hide your snacks or whatever else you're gonna put in here I don't know stuff whatever you guys use it for now right over here to the glove box is gonna be a lockable glove box this opens right up to whatever you're gonna throw in there you're gonna forget about it plenty of room from there now, as we remove this here quick, we have an auto dimming rear view mirror. All right. LED light up here. Pretty nice. That just turns it on and off. So now I have it in the center. So if I open up a door, guess what? Lights come right on. So pretty nice and easy. Your one touch power moonroof. Place for the sunglasses. All right, take one more look here at this dashboard. As you guys are taking this out for a test drive, please drop it down below in the comments. What do you guys' thoughts are about the vehicle? Do you guys like it? 
all right also what do you think about having the side mirrors down on the door you know let me look at that opening right there as you're just driving around i like how they squared off the windshield thin this out a little bit i just feel like there's so much more room in this versus my wife's uh, 21 honda crv ex i think she'll love this but don't tell her it's out yet guys let's make sure she finds the video first and we'll go from there okay Hey guys, it's me again, Crazy Honey Chris. Thank you so much again for watching my video. Hopefully it was very helpful to answer those questions about the Sport Touring Hybrid 2300 CRV. Guys, feel free to check out my other videos too as well. I put a lot of time in these to just inform you guys before you arrive at your local Honda dealership. So thank you so much. Consider hitting that like and subscribe. I'll keep these coming your way, okay? Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.